Uh, yeah, just, you know, we started the game slowly, thought we battled back, uh, thought our bench gave us a good lift when they came in. Uh, and then I didn't think we closed out quarters well, and that hurt us. So, uh, and the rebounding wasn't good enough to win. There was that stretch in the fourth quarter out of a timeout with about five minutes to go, three turnovers, two yeah, block shots. Turn. That was kind of the story. Yeah, it was, a, you know, and it was uh, overall, you know, the, the turnovers weren't high, but those three were very costly. Yep, yep. And that's what we're talking about. The difference of, uh, you know, the first three quarters uh, in the fourth quarter and understanding, you know, the intensity and the decision making that's necessary uh, to not turn it over. Morris and Lure, did that sort of illustrate this team's biggest need, a big forward who can kind of go out on the floor and defend? Yeah, I don't, you know, the and they played very well. And, and both those guys are, you know, they're talented. They made threes tonight, uh, you know, and put a lot of pressure on us. So I want to get a look at the film. I thought some of their threes were a result of uh, maybe reckless gambles on our part that we, you know, we have to clean up and I think stay disciplined throughout a possession. And so, uh, but I want to look at the film before I, you know, really say anything. Those guys are kind of hard matchups though when you start like Gorgie and, and, and Towns. Yeah. You know, the, and that's the versatility of their their team. I think uh, you know when you know I thought Baines gave him good minutes. Drummond, you know, is is a problem with him rolling to the rim. Uh, Lewer is very skilled and can play away from the basket. Um, you know, and their their guards keep pressure on you as well. How hard is it when you limit Caldwell Pope and Jackson, and then like you said, the other guys get you. Yeah, you know, the, and that's the challenge. The, ch the challenge is, you, you know, you can't do it at the expense of letting other guys get free and where you're giving them high percentage shots. I thought uh, after the first quarter, the defense was better. Uh, but then, uh, again, the way they, you know, hurt us at the end of quarters made a big difference. Uh, on those gambles, what is your general philosophy on when you're okay with players doing that when you want them to play it safe? Well, you have to stay disciplined and fulfill your team responsibilities first, and then you use your instincts when you read a play. And there's certain situations in which, you know, you, you have good ball pressure or denial, and you know the the ball pressure is causing the guy to maybe pick the ball up, and then the, you know you're going to move up up the line. And those are great opportunities. Yeah, there's, you know, you, what you can't do is just randomly gamble. And if you miss, now you're putting us in a five-on-four situation. And then, you know, particularly when you have, you know, skilled guys on the floor where you're going to pay with a three, you know. And so, um, you know, and I thought we had several sequences that were very good after the first quarter. But the, those gambles hurt us. Is there any early word on Zach? No, uh, no, just uh, uh, left knee uh, contusion, and he'll be examined uh, when we get back.